Hey everyone, welcome back to this Tosca automation playlist. And today we are going to talk about how you can handle different date expressions in Tosca. Now in your application, you can come across different scenarios where you may need to enter some date. Maybe it is the current date or maybe you need to do some calculations based on some uh, months or days you have to add them or some or you have to remove them right so there are several types of date related uh, scenarios which comes up whenever we try to automate some application so generally uh, in other automation tools you need to write uh, something either on java or dotnet to get these uh, dates right which may be a customized date or maybe the current system date uh, something like that but in Tosca, uh, already the T-Box modules are present, okay? And the date expressions are also present through which you can easily get the system date or uh, any other date format which you want uh, and you want to enter them into your application. So you can use these expressions to basically uh, format your dates and uh, use it according to your application. So let's see at some of the examples. So I have prepared this uh, test case, which basically gets all the different types of dates and also days and times uh, and all the other things, right? So I have completely used uh, the expressions, the date expressions, which are available uh, in Tosca. So for this, um, I've just used a T-Box set buffer module. And then for now, I'm just setting the buffer to all of these different uh, dates, okay, date types. So let's go through each of them. Keep in mind that there are more expressions. I have just used some of them, but um, you can go ahead and explore all the different types of expressions and see which one fits your requirements, okay? Uh, also to write these expressions, well, uh, it's very simple. You just type the curly brace and then you will see the a list of different expressions are available and out of that, uh, some of them are related to the date. Um, types okay so for this uh, i've used something like the date okay and in the description you can see it returns the full current date okay and the date and time values can be calculated also using the base date along with deviations and this we will see in a later example okay so this will basically return me the current full date okay and then uh, if you want to have the timestamp, then uh, you can use the date time expression. If you just want the time, then you can use the time expression. Similarly, if you want the current day or current month or current year, okay, then you can use these respective uh, expressions, which is day, month, and year. Now, sometimes uh, it happens that you would require the first day of the month or the last day of the month. For that also, there is an expression called month first and month last and then there are some specific uh, date requirements which you need to fulfill like the system date okay so this will return the full date uh, based on your uh, system specification so like the date um, is defined in your system the date format it will display the same date here okay then um, if you want uh, the days the month or year uh, in a specific format like uh, in a two digits format right so even if there is just one digit in the day then it is going to add a zero okay it will prefix a zero into that to make it two digits so if you want all these uh, day month and year in two digits you can use this expressions which is n day n month and n year similarly if you want the letters only for the day or the month okay so you can use these expressions uh, a day and a month okay so this will return you um, some days like mon or month like mar for march right now coming to the calculations okay so if you want to have a date which is based on some calculations okay so you can use the same expression date but along with that you can also do some deviations right so if i want to add two months to my current date or i want to subtract one day from my current uh, date okay also you can pass uh, the 
format on which you want to get this output. So if you want in this format, YYY uh, MMDD, then you have to write it uh, in this particular date expression, okay? So it allows you to do deviations from the current date and also it allows you to change the format, okay? So your expression will look like this. It will start with date. And then um, I have passed the full date, which is a buffer value, right? So which I'm capturing in the first buffer value full date. So that's my date, okay? And then um, this is my deviation. So I have added two months and I have subtracted one day from this uh, full date, okay? And then I'm returning the final date in this particular format, which is YYY MMDD. So this kind of deviations you can do easily, um, which can fit your requirements for your application, okay? So let's go ahead and run this and see what are the output values for all of these different date expressions, okay? So now if I go uh, in the scratch book and in the log info, I should have received all the output values, right? So you can see the first one full date. This is the date or current date, right? 14, 8, 2023. Then we have got the current timestamp. So it comes with uh, the date and the time, right? So this is like a timestamp which you can use. This is the current time. Uh, this is the current day. Okay, so 14 is the day today. And then this is the current month, uh, current year. All is in the numeric format, okay? And this is the first day of the month, okay? So it took the current date and then it set the current date to the first day of the month, okay? Similarly, it's also set the last day of the month. And then uh, this is the system date. So it's in a specific format, as you can see. This is uh, the two digit format, which I told you about. So everything is in two digit, you can see. Although the month eight is just one digit, Okay, so this is the current month. You can get it in two digits using this particular format, okay, or this expression. Similarly, uh, as I said, if you want uh, the particular output in three letters, like the day or the month, you can use this particular expression and then the calculated date, right? So our current date is, you can see 14 a 2023. It's in a specific format, which which we have defined, plus it has added two months. Okay, so the month is now 10, and also it has subtracted one day from 14, it went to 13, right? So this is uh, the calculated date, which uh, we got from the expression. So you can see you can uh, get any type of date uh, or any type of format right from the expressions. Okay, and you can also do some deviations in terms of uh, changing the date based on some particular calculations. Now let's look at a real-time application with a very small example of how we can use this date expressions to automate some scenarios in the application. So I have opened this obstacle uh, where you have got uh, a field, a text field where you need to enter the tomorrow's date. And it should be in this particular format, which is DD, MM, and by, 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 right? So it's a very simple uh, dynamic data expression, uh, which you need to fill using the expressions in Tosca and fill in to this particular text field, right? So let's create another test case here. And let's say get tomorrow's date. I've already uh, scanned this module, so I'm going to place it here, okay? And you can see there is this date field, okay? Uh, where we need to provide the value. So for this, what we are going to do is, we are going to use this particular expression, which is the date expression. So if you're not entering any particular date, then uh, you need to enter the square brackets, which is empty. And also if you're not entering any particular format, then you have to keep the square brackets. And in the middle, I need uh, tomorrow's date, so I'm doing a plus 1D, okay? So which will basically give me the tomorrow's date, okay? So this is uh, what you need to use in the expression for your date value. 
and let's go ahead and run this now okay so it should be entering tomorrow's date in that particular text field okay as you can see uh, the test case passed so it was able to enter uh, the tomorrow's date okay and since the default format was ddmm by 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 so we didn't have to change the format so this was a very simple example of um, where you can find these kind of fields date fields where you need to uh, either enter today's date or in some specific format or you need to do some deviations right so that's all for this particular video i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today if you want to watch more videos then please subscribe to our channel also if you have any questions then please leave them in the comments so until we meet again thank you and see you next time